Hello everybody, Brandon Haverilla from Redmax Entertainment back today. Today we're taking a look at another HOSA product. Last video we took a look at the uh, HOSA Drive, which is a Bluetooth receiver. Um, so if you haven't checked that out already, take a look at the link right here. Um, it will also be in the description where you can check out that video. But today we're taking a look at the HOSA cables and we're taking a look at XLRs and quarter inch. Um, this video is going to be just XLRs and we're looking at the differences between their good better and their best lines so that's their standard series their pro series and their edge series um, and there are some big differences not only look but also quality and build wise and the soldering in the connectors so we're going to take a look at all that in this very quick video and overview of these this you could see the connectors on the good are okay they're a cheaper metal cheaper connection um, and you'll especially see that inside the pro series you get these better ream connectors um, a little bit better silver and the cable seems to be a little um, thicker kind of a different gauge different cable better quality and then you get to the pro the edge series um, which is like the pro top of the line series that you can get and this uses um, gold plated uh, neutric connectors and these are this is the best cable pretty much you can get from hosa and um, taking them apart, they're fantastic. So I'm gonna take off the connectors on all three of these and I wanna show you guys inside because that's where I think the, the cables really matter. Okay, so I've got the three cables here lined up in uh, order as well. So this is the entry level standard, this is the Pro Series, and this is the Edge Series. And basically, just off the bat, you could see the difference in the metal, silver, and gold plated um, of the actual connectors. But we're gonna take a look um, at the actual structure of this so here you can see it's got like a strain relief mechanism that's attached here um, it holds the cable and it prevents it you know from being pulled out of the connection when we go to the pro series here you could see the strain relief becomes this plastic piece and the plastic piece comes off and it just kind of sits there um, and it, it protects the strain now this is you know maybe about an inch it's a kind of short plastic piece now when we get to the edge series the best series this strain relief is a lot bigger um, so this is definitely the cable that's going to last you the longest when it comes to pulling um, getting pulled on out of the mic or out of the stage snake um, out of your dj mixer whatever you're using this for and not only that but uh, as far as the connector goes dropping it on the ground and stuff it's going to last you the longest too due to this kind of uh strain relief mechanism so i really wanted to show you the soldering connections on this so this is the standard cable you get here's the strain relief and there's the soldering connections. It's just the raw cables soldered right to the main connectors here and a little bit of a rubber sealing around them. Um, I mean, this cable is great if you just need to pick up a cheap last minute cable before a gig or if you're just, um, you know, planning it kind of for more of an install or maybe recording in a studio or something that's, um, you know, you're not looking for long term last out of. Um, however, you know, if you treat it well, it could definitely last you, but dropping this thing and stuff will definitely, you know, damage it after it. And uh, here's the next series up, which is the Pro Series. And you can see the connectors are a lot better. They actually uh, kind of heat wrapped each individual wire. And there's a lot more solder on the connectors. They go a little bit further in than the other series. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the Edge Series. Now, this is the best that you can get. The wire is a little more insulated there. And you can see it's actually got a strain relief on every cable where it reaches the thing. They're also heat wrapped and then it's soldered internally. So there's a lot less chance of this cable um, actually, you know, being broken and dropped. And, you know, there's two strain release on each cable. So it's not like you're gonna get one pin that's wrong um, and stops working, you know. So this cable altogether is probably the best one that you can get out there. Um, and compared to some other pro cables out there, this is not far behind. Actually, it's probably a little bit better than some others I've seen. Um, and a lot of people, I think, underestimate Hosa um, as a brand and, and aren't aware that they make this pro series cables. They just know their standard series. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you choose a cable um, if you're looking into new cables. And I hope this also brought your attention onto Hosa as a brand for these cables. And I uh, hope it helps you understand, you know, which cable is right for you um, and depending on the use you're doing. 
And uh, so with that said, thanks again for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be on the quarter inch series of the standard Pro and Edge series.